Hi everyone, this is the Mario Police, and uh, today I'm introducing a level called Trials of Discomfort, an easier version of Chain Chomp Braden's epic level, Trials of Death. If you haven't seen Chain Chomp Braden's level, uh, Trials of Death, I have linked it in the description to this video, and uh, I highly recommend it. It's um, probably going to be, when Braden beats it, um, the hardest Mario Maker level ever created. Um, Brayden is over 1,200 hours into upload attempts, and um, I frequently watch his streams, and I highly recommend checking out his insanely difficult level. Um, and this level is really a tribute to his level. Um, so, first, let me tell you what the differences are between the easy version that I'm working on and the original. So, the first thing is, I took his level, and I sort of emptied out, emptied it out as if it was like a warehouse. So, every enemy, pretty much, with a few exceptions, um, is gone. Every obstacle on track, pretty much, is gone. So, there are lots of saws on tracks, fire bars on tracks, etc. Those are all gone. Um, every fire bar in the level, which there are many, every fire bar that's not on a track, um, they were all shrunk to minimum length. So, <laughs> that's already pretty ridiculous, all those changes. But, that wasn't enough. It was still too hard, even after doing all that. So, in addition, there's a lot of things added to the level. And pretty much everything that I added to the level um, is surrounded by track, just to indicate what was changed. So, as you can see on the screen right now, um, well, right now there's not much, but these coin indicators are added, this one-way gate platform is added, the shell that just fell to my head added, the star is added, um, yeah, quite a lot of things are changed. So uh, it makes the level much, 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 much easier, as you might expect. Um, you might be wondering, okay, what even is the same? Like, is this just a completely different level? Well, I think it is still um, at its core, you know, similar. And it's similar in the following ways. First, um, every wall, every spike, every red coin um, is exactly the same as it is in Trials of Death. In addition, um, the path that Mario has to follow to beat this level is very similar to the path that Brayden would have to follow to beat his level. And in a way, it's sort of supposed to give the user like a feel for what it would be like to be trying to clear Trials of Death, but the difficulty is ramped down to something more approachable for uh, someone who's not Chain Chomp Brady. Um, so, yeah, I think that pretty much sums up the differences. So now I'm sort of going to talk through this uh, second half of the level. Um, so right now we're about 180 seconds in, and uh, as you can see, the path, you know, if you're familiar with Brayden's level, the path that I'm using here is quite different than the one he uses. Um, we take a bomb up top and clear out one of those invisible blocks so that we can just uh, kind of cheese this section. But, you know, some parts are the same, like this part is just exactly the same as what Brayden has to do. Uh, put, put both items on the platform and then bring them both down stairs. Um, this is the, uh, the Bob Ross door, and, uh, it's a little easier, actually a lot easier. <clears throat> so, you know, you can, if you're familiar with Raiden's level, you'll be able to sort of see the differences yourself. But, uh, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with the attempts. Um, as for this video, I did not actually clear the level yet. Um, I split this up into three parts. Right now we're in the second part. And um, you'll see the clock change at a few places in this video. And those are the places where I spliced two different runs together. Uh, three different runs together. Sorry. <clears throat> so, you know, no midair right here. This is quite a bit easier. And enemies are removed, so no booze to worry about. A little bit of a helper platform to land on right here. This is the tail end of section two, so I was a little nervous 
making sure that I actually made that jump. Now we're in section three, the final six sections. This is the, the notorious bomb lab section. And in this section, I just give the user a cloud and uh, you just sort of fly around doing all the things that Braden normally has to do manually. So, you know, the level is designed to be like significantly easier, but um, I think one of the one of the goals I have is for people to see, even when they're playing this like absurdly easy version of Trials of Death, it's still so difficult. Um, I mean, I had a heck of a time even just trying to clear the three parts individually, and. Um, so I think, you know, will people be able to clear the seat level? Yes. Um, will it be something that an, an advanced player would be able to clear easily? I would suspect not. Um, so yeah, the survival room, obviously, I did keep some enemies around and some things on tracks just for a little bit of suspense. I didn't want it, the survival room to just be purely standing <laughs> Although, uh, you know, it's a bit of a gimme. A good, a good sort of test is I sort of wanted each section to be as easy for me as the real sections are for Braden. So the survival room, he really, he very rarely ever messes up. So I wanted the survival room to be pretty easy for me as well. This is the uh, really evil Yoshi jump section and. It's quite a bit easier if you have Fire Flower, but I still mess it up a lot. <clears throat> okay. A little bit of a, another platform here. And we are getting toward the end, finally. The final section is, as you might expect, a bit easier, but still, still hard, especially after you've been through 400 seconds of stuff. This part's kind of fun. It's the fire walk with no fire, so you just sort of sprint through. And uh, here's the shell pinball section. A little bit easier, to say the least. But if you were at the end of the level, you might not. You might mess it up. <laughs> there it is. No midair at the end. God, no. So anyway, um, thanks for checking out the preview video. And uh, I will be streaming upload attempts, so feel free to stop by.